The purpose of this video is to show how a customized version of our team box system works. This uh, particular system identifies not just the first player, but the first player on each team that rings in. And the, uh, the team box system is highlighted in another video that shows the basic features of how that system works. But I'm going to show the, the special features of this one. The team box system has a total of four team boxes, and each team box can have up to five players per team. You can plug in two, two boxes, three boxes, or four boxes. For the, for the purpose of this demonstration, we're just going to show three boxes, and we won't, we won't use the fourth one in this one. When a player rings in on one team, that player is identified. Person rings in on another team, and a third team, this light flashes to tell us that it knows that somebody rang in, but we haven't identified who they are yet. If the pers first person gets the wrong answer, we press the button on top of the control box, and that takes us over to the second player. And if that person gets the wrong answer, we press the button again, and that takes us over to the third player. And then we want to clear the system. For the next question, we press and hold until we hear the chirp. And then we're ready for the next question. Now when the first player rings in on a system, every other person on that team is locked out. Notice that this light stays off. And when a person rings in on the other system, other team, that has been recorded. But also notice that this light doesn't change. It still it doesn't detect these other two. It only detects the first for each team. Since there's nobody else that's ringing in, we'll clear it. Another nice feature for this system is that when the first player rings in, instead of touching the button on the box, the system comes with what we call a moderator button. And it's just like a button that the players use, but instead of pressing the button here, you can press it out here.